Today we released Next.js 12.1, including one of our most requested features ever, on-demand incremental static regeneration. And as you can tell, people are really excited. So let's waste no time and jump right into a demo of this new feature. Inside pages slash index, we have a function home, which is returning an h1. We also have a function get static props, which is fetching the latest time on the server and forwarding it as a prop to our home component and then displaying it inside the h1. In our browser on the right, if we reload the page, we notice that we get a different time on every request. That's because when running Next.js locally with Next Dev, get static props runs on every single request. However, if I do a build for production, followed by starting the production server, you'll notice that the time does not change on every single request. That's because we've generated a static page and get static props only runs during the build. Wouldn't it be great if we could rerun get static props after we have built our site? That's the problem that incremental static regeneration solves. Let's take a look. Back in my editor on the left, we can add the revalidate prop of one second, followed by a console log at the top to make it more clear when we're running get static props. Now I'll need to do another build for production and restart my production server. And now you'll see running get static props in the terminal when this is ran. Now, since a second has passed and I reload the page, I'm going to be able to fetch a new time. However, you'll notice if I make requests very quickly, it only happens at most every second. Depending on your site, this could be a lot of unnecessary traffic and a lot of unnecessary revalidations. So you might be tempted to put a revalidation time of something like 60 seconds or higher. Now, again, if I rerun the build and I restart my production server, this time will only update at most every 60 seconds. Wouldn't it be great if we could only regenerate this page when our data changes? In Next.js 12.1, a new feature has been added to incremental static regeneration to allow you to revalidate on demand. Let's take a look at an example. Back in my editor on the left, I can add a button to revalidate my page, and right now it's not doing anything. So let's make it that when you click on the button, it's going to call this revalidation function, which calls an API route slash API slash revalidate. Inside of this function, I've added a console log so that we can see when it runs, and I'm using this new unstable revalidate function followed by the path that I want to regenerate, in this case, the index route. So let's go back to our main file. I will save this, rebuild my application one more time, and restart the production server. And now, when I reload, I see this nice revalidate button. And when I click on this button, you'll notice in the terminal output, I say revalidating and then running get static props. So now watch as when I reload, the time changes. If I keep refreshing, nothing. But if I click revalidate, the time changes. That's on-demand regeneration in Next.js 12.1. We've also expanded support for the new Rust-based compiler that shipped in Next.js 12. It now supports styled components, Relay, and other popular transformations that people were using with Babel previously. There's a new Next.js plugin for Jest that takes care of the configuration for you and also uses SWC to make it very fast to run new tests. Minification with SWC inside Next.js is getting close to stable. It's now in release candidate. So upgrade, try it out, and give us your feedback. For those of you using Next.js self-hosted, we have great news. We've reduced the size of Docker images almost 80% using a new standalone output mode. Basically, it only copies over the files that are required and can be deployed on its own without having to include known modules. There's also been a ton of updates related to React 18, server-side suspense, and React server components. In case you missed our update at the last Next.js conference when we announced Next.js 12, I'll include a link down below to watch that video and hear about Next.js at the edge. There was also many bug fixes and improvements to make Next.js more stable and faster for all developers. And I just want to thank the over 2,000 contributors to Next.js who have helped us build this framework together. Thank you. 
One more thing is that we're running the first ever Next.js developer survey, and we want to hear your feedback. Let us know by visiting the link in the description how we can improve the framework. We greatly appreciate all of your feedback. The survey is completely anonymous and will be open for about another week, and we'll be sharing some of the results in a blog post in the future.